What's up guys, it's the number one Batman here, uh, playing some Killing Floor on Yes Beginner because I suck at Killing Floor, uh, medium length, uh, we're gonna see how this goes, uh, I'm on Mountain Pass right now, um, you know what, actually I'm just gonna bring down the settings really quickly, just cause I know that it won't give me any trouble. Except for during spawn. Uh, Killing Floor is free and on sale, like this past week, so that's why I'm playing it. Uh, a friend of mine is purchasing me the game. Well, I'm paying him and he's just buying me it because he has transportation slash credit cards available and I don't. I'm playing as the oh that's Shidane Commando perk right now. Since basically every other perk sucks or is useless when playing solo. Because basically the only good perks are sharpshooter or medic other than commando. And honestly I don't feel like being sharpshooter right now. But I'm still kind of ranking it up by going for these headshots. I might as well since, you know, free XP is free XP. Oh, shit. Ugh. I don't know, I, I really like this game. It's, uh,. Pretty fun, expect me to play it quite a bit. Uh, I've played it, I'll, I'll try and get a couple friends to play with, but I don't know, we'll see how it goes. The, what do I want to buy? I'll buy the M4 since it's a oh, don't want that. Since it is available. And then we're gonna go find ammo pickups or what drops wherever they're located. Oh shit, well I remember to turn that to semi auto. Yes, ammo drop. Catch my eyebrow really quickly so I can see more ammo over there. I'd really like to pick up a gun so that I could sell it next round or uh, use it. There we go. No, that's a bottle. Um, trying to think of where all the weapon drops are, slash ammo drops are on this map. I honestly don't know. I haven't played this map like extensively in a long time. I don't know if uh, bunny hopping works in this game, or if I'm just, you know, being a noob and think, thinking all PC games work with bunny hopping. Uh, I don't know, do I want to run over here? I have a lot of zombies. Let's go, let's go. I want to check over here, see if there's any guns. If there's not, I will. God damn, there's one of those guys who shoots things. I don't know their names off off by heart. Uh, nope. Oh, sometimes there's stuff over here. Oh, uh, oh, kind of accurate. Is there something in the bathroom? Honestly, for most of it, for the first couple of rounds, I'm just going to use my pistol in the hopes I can get a couple of headshots to rank up my sharpshooter class. And then if uh, any of the stalkers, I believe they are, people who go in invisible, if they come along, I'm going to 
use my uh, what's gonna call it uh, assault rifle. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm kind of concentrating on shooting right now. Um, I need a trophy there. left, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, so he doesn't hit me, and so I'll go faster, I think, oh god, I was gonna say, I'm probably gonna run into this, I'd probably be faster if I strafed and bunny hopped at the same time, but, I'm too lazy to do that. I should also look for ammo while I'm running here. Well, not really running here. I don't even know if I'm hitting him, to be honest, because that's pretty far away. Shit. Yeah, oh, come on. That's actually a pretty good dodge there. There we go, I was hitting him. Uh, wow, I only got 680. Jeez. I don't even think there's a point in going here. By the bull pup, but there's no real point. So I'll just auto fill ammo and oop, that was an escape. Just by body armor, honestly. And then I'll probably look around a bit and find body armor. That always pisses me off when I buy body armor and I find it on the ground. Ugh. Sorry if I find I said blah blah blah. If I sound tired, it's because oh shit, it's like stuff on fire. It's because I haven't slept in a long time. It's summertime, so what's the point in sleeping? I'm gonna try and get a couple of recording sessions in while I'm at it, because at one, which is in four hours, I believe. I don't know. Yes, the reaction, nice. Uh, yeah, four hours. I am gonna go and hang out with a friend. We're gonna hit up McDonald's for lunch before we go to his house. So that'll be enjoyable, hopefully. I know it's weird, me going outside, uh, actually having a social life. I don't know, it's it's tough when all you do is play video games. You know, so I want to get a couple of recording sessions in, uh, upload one or, well, one, probably. Oh, God. I can actually use my lever action to get headshots on them. That was the worst accuracy ever. Itch my neck while I run. Oh bad. Oh god, more. Oh wow, you just turned away. Yeah, sometimes the AI in this game is not the best. That's been a headshot there, because I don't really know how Z time is activated, but I'm pretty sure it's from a headshot every once in a while. Alright, there's an invisible chick over there. A couple of them, actually. And I have the worst accuracy ever, and I won't one-shot that chick somehow. If you're wondering why I'm specifically using my... Uh, battle rifle on her it's because one of the challenges to rank up your commando class is to kill that type of zombie with battle rifles nice and to rank up your sharpshooter you have oh, that oh I did hit him to rank up your sharpshooter you have to 
that's what I'm calling it. You get headshots with specific guns, which is kind of hard, but, you know, pistols is one of the guns you can use to get it, so it makes it a bit simpler. Well, that won't give me enough, so I'll just autofill and repair. And then walk around a bit, see if I can't find any gun on the ground to drop the lever action. Well, I'll probably sell the lever action depending on what gun it is, if I find a gun. For the bullpup, I won't sell, I mean, I will sell the lever action. So if it's like a hand cannon, I'll keep the lever action, sell the hand cannon, because I think that's actually worth like $500. So, yeah. Saving up right now for the SCAR or the FNFAL. Really, they're so close in price that, like, if I am going, if I have enough for the SCAR, I might as well, you know, sell an extra gun to get the FNFAL. But, I don't know. Ammo over there. Goddamn. I really want a gun which will actually disappear. So I want to find a gun for the next wave. Uh, I don't like being in the woods. There was a, what's it called over there? There's a guy with a chainsaw I can hear. Oh wow, I didn't kill him? Wow, he's like one bullet away. What did I get? So oh, blah, 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 a stump got me. Uh, six. No, I don't want four. I want three. Switch to three again. That was a beautiful shot. Uh, another invisible chip. Oh, that was a beaut. You'll hear me say that as a beaut a, a lot. And shooting at range. Oh no, screamy chick. Ooh, headshot at her. Wow, how'd I miss that? That is exactly why I can't play normal. Because, well, like anything higher than beginners, because I miss a lot. And you can really get messed up if you miss a lot. I don't really use uh, automatic guns much in this game just because they have a lot of kick normally and when you have like the semi-automatic you can just uh, save your ammo really like easily and stuff. So lever action. Don't want autofill, I want to purchase. Then autofill, repair. Awesome. Yes, in this game, the FNFAL is automatic, so that is really nice. Uh, even though I don't use automatic, honestly. I don't like the sight that it uses, though, since it's an ACOG. I definitely prefer the, uh, I don't know. That's going to look like an ACOG, too, I guess you'd call it. Uh, well, like a COD ACOG. FNFAL is more of a Black Ops 1 ACOG. M4 is like a Mall Warfare 2. Basically any other ACOG other than Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 had a weird ACOG for what we were used to, in my opinion. I didn't really like the ACOG in Black Ops 1. Um, I'm trying to guess. I'm guessing the... Traders actually gonna spawn over here in the picnic grounds, but that's just a guess. Oh no, I was wrong. I was actually right the first time. That's right, I don't have what's called. That is a lot of Oh shit. Oh
And like, even if you have semi-automatic, you can still go pretty uh, hardcore with the semi-automatic with the fire rate and stuff. If you have a nice trigger finger, which you can probably actually hear me clicking right now, which probably sucks. Oh, reload, spin around, switch to that, because invisible check. Uh, clowns are kind of like the boomers from Left 4 Dead, if you're not experienced with this game. Actually, right now, it's, uh, what's gonna call it? Uh, skin... I don't know what you call it. It's, it's, it's a special... Oh, what's it called? I can't think of the word right now. It's a special event, that's what it is. Uh, where they, like, they do it for Christmas and Halloween a lot, where they reskin the zombies to look like other things and this time they released a new map and actually a new mode which is objective mode uh it, and the new map is a amusement park called abusement park and so to celebrate that i guess you'd call it they changed the zombies to look like circus people i guess you'd call it or like amusement park people so the screamers are uh, bearded ladies. The big guys are clowns, which I honestly find really creepy, and they shouldn't be that. Uh, I'm trying to think. The patriarch is kind of like a ringmaster. That's the patriarch's the boss, by the way. Uh, I'm trying to think of the rest of them. Car. Auto fill. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, Patriarch is ringmaster. Uh, the guy with the swords for arms is a sword swallower. Guy with the chainsaw for an arm is a giant monkey. Robot still a robot. Well, actually, sorry. The, the guy with the rock launcher for an arm is a robot now. Uh, I'm guessing that's because of the amusement park that they have in the game is uh, like a steampunk themed amusement park. Yeah, so that's probably why they have it as a robot. Um, the regular guys are like I don't know I don't really know what you call them. They just have blades for arms. Uh, the crawlers are people in a red dress. I haven't really gotten to look at them well. I start always jumping around, but I'm always shooting them a lot, so that doesn't let you get a good view. And that's just the worst name ever. Let's pick up this ammo while I'm here. I think that's all of the what's it called is zombies. If I'm missing some, I don't know. Again, I don't play this game that much. Like I've just been playing a lot as of recently because it was free. Um, this is honestly like at higher difficulties, it can be a really hard game because. You have limited ammo for your pistol. Uh, you have to buy ammo, which can be really hard. And uh, you have to buy guns and stuff, which can be really expensive if you don't have the right perks. And like the perks, they add a lot of difficulty. You don't regenerate health either, so that's why you need a medic all the time normally. Oh, shoot that. Shoot that chick. And there's just so many different types of zombies. Like for Call of Duty, you know it's not that hard since you just oh shit. Giant monkey guy and that guy. Ooh, lever action right here. You should remember that. Like with Call of Duty zombies, you know, you only inverse in that one zombie, like one type of zombie normally. And like every once in a while you'll have like dogs or something come up or like, you know, something special like that. I guess for the buried DLC they have the uh witch, but I don't know, I'm not that familiar with it. I don't know, it's, it's one of the harder games, it may not look like it, but again, I'm a beginner, and with, screw you, Screamo, uh, with a team of four, I want to say it was, 
it's three or four. Uh, we couldn't beat the aperture level on normal. I want to say it was, and we may not be the best players, but we can hold our own. So not losing on normal is kind of weird. Uh, other than that, yeah. So especially since it's on sale, which I'll hopefully upload it. I might upload it like. Oh wow! It was oh went away. Uh, only reaction went away. But especially that it's on sale. It's actually only three bucks. Oh, that voice crack right there. Uh, three bucks right there right now. Uh, it's normally ten dollars. I want to say. I don't know. I'm I'm guessing there. But then like the whole DLC pack thing. That's like twelve twelve or thirteen dollars. And that's normally 20 bucks, which is honestly a great deal. You get all the weapon DLCs and stuff, which are pretty cool. Like, they have, like, a dwarf sax that you can get. Um, I don't know, a lot of guns that you can get. I don't really need to go in here except to buy ammo. I guess I could buy the... No, I'll see about to buy the... I'll see if I can buy the Shenatic. No, never mind. I'll never be able to buy the Shenatic. But for DLC, they have, like... uh. The Dr. T's lead delivery system, Tommy gun, um, what else do they have for DLC? Flamethrower, I think that is. Uh, that's the same one I clicked on already. I'm trying, they don't have much DLC for the medic. A lot of the DLC, like they have some pretty cool DLC guns, like single pistol, piston long musket. Mm, I have a scythe. That's really interesting. Dwarf sax has locked now. Buzzsaw bow, which is pretty cool. Flare revolver, which is a flamethrower revolver. Dual flare revolvers, because every single pistol can be dual wielded. Orca bomb propeller, which is a Grenade launcher that looks like an orca. I don't know, they have some pretty cool DLC guns. And they also have a lot of characters you can get for DLC. So, you know, that's something. And also, like, actually right now, I'm the, I don't know, I don't know how to look in third person, but the character I am is the blue TF2 pyro. Which I think is really cool. Well, I don't think it's really cool. Well, I think it's cool that they include skins from other games. But the only reason why I'm using it is because it's the only uh, skin I really like. Because I think the blue one looks better than the red one. And I don't really have any of the cool DLCs that I normally use. Because the place I normally play uh, Killing Floor at is uh, this land base that we have locally. And they have every single uh, character unlocked basically, except for a couple. Another invisible chick. I wonder how many more I need. I should check that next time the store opens. I guess I get to escape and check, but I don't want to pause it. Like, and I like I like this game because like the no scoping, or like the non ADS thing is actually really effective. Like right there. Oh, I missed that guy. Like, like I was easily able to kill those guys from a range. I didn't need the sight. Like right there, I was able to get a headshot. So it, it that's a definite bonus to this game. And yeah, and like each of the perks, like they give you, like each perk is given a specific set of guns, but like you can buy it from any perk set, like from any gun, and like uh, but they kind of. I won't say they force you to, but they lean you towards using a specific gun because they give you discounts uh, for like the specific gun. Like for Commando, I think I get a 10% discount on assault rifles and battle rifles. And like, you can also get like recoil uh, reduction for like the specific guns. And if you're using a specific kit, you definitely want to run a specific gun kind of thing, like style of gun. Like right here, here's my stuff. I get 20% more damage now. 
less recoil, 20% larger bow rifle clip, uh, 50% reload with all weapon. That's why I like this one. Uh, 30% and then discount. That's what I like. Oh wow, and you kill like 225 more. Uh, sharpshooter, I need to get, wow, that's a lot of headshots. Um, and then for eight, field medic is really useful, but since I'm playing solo, I mean, it's really easy to level up, but I'm playing solo, so healing doesn't happen. It has to be on your teammates, can't be yourself. Oh, wow, I actually hurt myself from that fall. But yeah. So, my favorite is definitely Commando when I'm playing solo, and then I actually play Medic for my friends, because they normally run Sharpshooter and Commando. Oh, oh wow, this is the last one? Damn it. Oh, she would pick up the uh, Medic gun. Which is actually really cool. The uh, Medic gun, it's alternate fire, uh, shoots like a healing spray, I guess you'd say. Okay, I don't need ammo. Where is he? <laughs> I honestly don't know. Oh, he's over there. Oh, shit. I'm going to switch to the FNFAL. Oh, yeah, that's right. He can... He can go invisible to, like, and he'll, then he'll... Oh, shit. He'll normally run away and heal, but I guess this time he decided not to. There we go. Uh, yeah, so that's me playing Killing Floor. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Okay, I guess I should finish what I said. Uh, med gun, it, med guns, when you use their alternate fire, they heal people when you hit them. And also, their grenades heal people and damage enemies. So, I'm going to end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you did. And... See you next video, I guess. I'll probably continue this Killing Floor series. That's it. Done.